What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the more recent glitches we've been using so far the past few days such as the duplication glitch and seeing if in today's most recent update it was actually patched and at the end of the video I'm going to be going over sort of Bethesda's stance on glitchers and glitching in the community and kind of giving you guys the information and what you should be concerned with. And finally if you want some bottle caps or just some dope items check out U4GM link will be in the description but without further ado if you guys do go on to enjoy this video make sure you like like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Alright everyone, so the glitch that you guys are all probably pretty curious about is the duplication glitch. If you were not familiar with this, if you lived under a rock, um, basically what this does is it allow you to actually duplicate any item in the game. It's pretty OP, but all you really had to do was super simple. You just had to go into an armor or weapons workbench and actually craft 300 of any weapon in here, and it would actually glitch out your game and cause you to disconnect. And when you disconnect, Bethesda sort of has this feature where when you do disconnect, it rolls back to server. So you roll back the items that you wanted to duplicate. So if you give some to a friend, your friend is now going to have that item and you will have that item. But now what Bethesda actually did was implement a feature where you can basically only craft 255 of any weapon. So by making it 255 as the cap for it, it is not making enough to actually cause the server to disconnect. This is actually a pretty lazy way to fix this glitch. It's essentially just a band-aid for now. The glitch itself is not patched. They kind of just disabled your ability to actually cause your game to disconnect. There are plenty of other ways you can actually get your game to disconnect, and um, we're actually in the works of creating a way to actually get around this. So a video will be out pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. I would just say for now, just be patient because there, it is only a matter of time before someone will find a new way to do it. I should also mention we tried the tactic of actually force disconnecting it after you have crafted the boards. You used to be able to trade an item to a friend for one bottle cap and that would automatically crash your game and that has also not been working as well by doing only 255 boards. This next glitch is how you could get unlimited carry weight in the game after the recent update just because they did patch another way to do it by spamming the pocketed armor. A lot of you are probably familiar with that. Everybody used it. Um, but there was actually another method found soon after there that would allow you to do that as well. Basically all you needed to have was again the pocketed armor variant so if you don't have that mod you will need it for the glitch so all that you really had to do for this glitch was go into a armor workbench and craft any piece of armor that you have the pocketed or deep pocketed variant now i always use the leather one just because you know it is the cheapest you know you don't want to be making a whole bunch of combat armor if you don't have to but basically just craft any piece of armor that has the deep pocketed variant on it now once you have that piece of armor crafted you should have the base item variant for it see as you see i had the leather chest piece no mods no anything on it go ahead and equip that now that you have that you know piece of armor equipped go back into the armor workbench but instead of pressing um whatever button it is to craft it you're going to want to make sure that you modify it now select the piece of armor that you know you want to modify um mine being the leather chest piece go down to miscellaneous and enable the pocketed or deep pocketed the glitch is way faster if you do it with deep pocketed just because it goes 10 at a time instead of five at a time so if you have deep pocketed definitely use that Regardless of what armor mod you use, just close out of the armor workbench right after you do that, go to your apparel tab, and literally just take off that piece of armor, and just like the last glitch, it will remove 5 carry weight or 10 carry weight depending on which pocketed variant you use, um, and just like the last one, if you go to 0 and pass 0 into the negatives, it basically makes it so that you have unlimited carry weight. As you guys saw, my carry weight did go down by 5 whenever I took off the piece of armor, and so basically from that point, you want to just go ahead and keep making armor and taking it off. Now, the reason I didn't post a video on this is just because I don't really like doing weight glitches all that much is because it makes your game really unstable and also it's kind of really annoying to do just because you will have to craft a ton of pieces of armor um, and a lot of people don't have all those materials so the glitch itself really wasn't all that helpful anymore and I feel like it's just easier just to go ahead and manage your inventory because I don't really want to do this every time I go into my game because the second you leave a server and join into a new one that number will have been reset. So this next glitch is one I've actually covered in the past, but I actually did give out some incorrect information in that video. Me and a whole bunch of other people did believe this power armor duplication glitch to be patched, when in fact that does not seem to be the case. All you really need for it is a portable fuel tank, which can be acquired from that location with the BattleBot mission. There's also a whole bunch at Sugar Grove. You can find them all over the map. But once you have found one, you are going to want to empty out your junk tab of everything except for that portable fuel tank, and then you want to have your power armor equipped and on that you actually want to duplicate. From that point, you want to open up your pit boy, go to the junk tab, and hover over the portable fuel tank, close back out of your pit boy, and then, and this is where the timing comes in, you want to press the button to bring up your pit boy, for me that's tab, and then soon after press R. So you want to press tab to bring up your pit boy, and then as literally right when you press that button, 
a millisecond after, spam R, and it should drop your power armor that you have equipped. Now, if you want a more in-depth guide on this, I have a video post on it. The link will be in the description where I kind of go more into it. So if this is kind of hard for you, you can watch that video. I go over it way slower. But from this point, you can choose to either get out of your power armor. For me, it glitched out and it took all the armor off, but don't worry, you still have all of it. As you can see, I still have all the X01 power armor that I had before, and now I also have this duplicated version. So I went ahead and gotten this piece, and now when you look in your inventory with both of these pieces equipped, you can see that there is two of each, and you have now duplicated that power armor. It's just all about timing, so if you don't get it the first try, that's 100% normal. It took me over, like, I think maybe 20 times to actually get this right, because someone actually told me the glitch actually still worked when I thought it was patched. So for the remainder of this video, I kind of want to talk about the risks and what you can expect from Bethesda's response on actually glitching. Now, this is the reason I saved it towards the end because I know a lot of people don't really care, but I do get a ton of questions, me being a mostly glitch channel. I get a ton of questions on people asking if they're going to get banned from doing these types of glitches. And my answer in the past has always been, yes, there is a risk you will get banned from this, but it's very unlikely. But with one of Bethesda's most recent response, I can kind of give you guys a more definite answer on this. Some of you may have heard about this, but there was actually someone who joined a lobby and visually recorded someone duping in Fallout 76 in their lobby. They had video proof and all that, irrefutable evidence. And what they did was to make a support ticket to Bethesda asking for that player to be, you know, either banned or whatever. So basically, Bethesda's response was to just block them. <laughs> I'm not even kidding guys, that actually made me laugh. And just their response to this is just basically telling you guys, they know what's going on in the community, they know everybody is glitching. At this point, pretty much if they were to take action against everybody who, you know, have used glitches in Fallout 76, they would lose pro like easily over 50% of their community. And with Fallout 76's current state right now, they really can't have that at the moment. So to be honest with you guys, there's little to no risk of using glitches and actually getting banned. As you guys can see, even with visual proof, unrefutable evidence of them actually going to Bethesda and telling them, hey, this person is glitching with their name, with evidence of them doing it, they said, hey, just block them and you'll never run into that issue again. You'll have to experience that player um, instead of actually banning them. So this is just, you know, guys, don't be worried. I really don't think you have any risk of getting banned. That's not to say that they couldn't change this in the future. I'm just saying at the moment right now, there's not a very big risk of you actually getting caught doing this glitch and getting banned. But other than that, that is pretty much all I have for you today, guys. Sorry for the lack of uploads. It's finals week, so, like, everything's super hectic right now. I'm trying to get videos out on time as well as live streaming, and I plan to get back on that track after Friday because that is when my semester is over and I'll have to be on Christmas break, so I'll have all the time in the world to make videos. But other than that, that is pretty much all for today's video, guys. Hopefully you did find this helpful or just enjoy it. I'm planning on uploading another uh, glitch tomorrow. We're hopefully going to find that duplication glitch really soon, so you can look forward to that. But other than that, guys... That's pretty much for this video. If at any point you did enjoy it or just found it helpful, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.